guys. Yes. Oops. YouTube land. Okay. <laughs> I want to share something with you just because I thought it was a little funny. <clears throat> so the other day we got a snowstorm and we got about a foot of snow. And my neighbor, who lives right next to me, he's in a wheelchair, and I told him that I would help him out if I could um, with making sure he can get into his car. So I cleaned off his car <clears throat> and shoveled a little bit around it. Um, that way he could get out and move his car so they could plow. And he saw me doing that because his bedroom window faces the parking lot, and he saw me doing that. And the next morning, we had had a conversation. You know, he thanked me for helping him out and all that. And I said, you know, any time, any time, you know, you have a difficult time doing things because you're in a wheelchair. He's confined to his wheelchair. You know, he can't walk at all. Um, so I said, if I can help you out in just a, a, a little way that just makes it a little easier for you, then I'll do it. You know, and the person who usually supposedly helps him, if he does help him, he charges him money, and then he expects things in return. It's like, seriously? Um, excuse me. <clears throat> and we had had a conversation, he said, you know, he usually gives him, um, returnable bottles. <clears throat> And he doesn't really need them because his brother pays his rent and gives him money to spend. So he is not lacking in money at all. <clears throat> and he says, you know what, you could use them a lot more than he could. You know, you, you'd probably spend it on things that are worthwhile anyway, like gas, groceries. You know, going towards paying a bill. You know, something like that. I said, oh yeah, definitely. You know, I got, I got things that I owe money on, so... <laughs> five little five a uh, little money will help me pay that you know I said I said you don't have to do that you know I said I, I just did this because I wanted to help you and he said well I'm doing this because I want to help you and I'm like you know thank you so much you know uh, but we had this conversation and you know he, he knew I cleaned off his car so I left after that and when I came back I had run into him again and he said, oh, oh, listen to this story. <laughs> I said, he's like, guess who showed up at my door about a half hour after you left? And I'm just like, I was intrigued. I'm like, who? And he goes, so-and-so. I said, really? What for? And he goes, well, he knocks on my door and I answer it. And he says, oh, hey, you know, I just wanted to let you know I cleaned off your car for you. You know, I... I I, I thought you needed some help, so I cleaned off your car. And he looks at him and goes, Really? You cleaned off my car? He goes, Considering that she did, um, Amanda cleaned off my car last night and shuffled around it, I don't see how you could have cleaned it off. And he just got all wide-eyed and started um, stuttering and then changed the subject. <laughs> so... He got caught in a lie. Now this guy, this is just my opinion. I know all other people feel this way too, but this is my opinion. He's a shady character. He's a con man. And he tries to slither his way into getting things out of people. You know? He's no good. He is no good. <clears throat> I stay away from him, but this morning, or this afternoon, yeah, it was about an hour ago, I went and checked my mail. And I was, there's a little bench out there. And I was just sitting on it, and I was opening my mail. And he comes down. The elevator is right next to where I was sitting. He comes down, and he took one look at me and bolted out the door to go outside. Like, he couldn't get away from me fast enough. Uh, he got caught in a lie. I mean, seriously. You know, I truly believe that, you know, that... That saying of whatever you send out, you get back times three. And, um, oh, what's that other one? Um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. 
you know? If you're going to send out negative energy, you're going to get negative energy in return. You know, that's what I believe, and I believe that this happened to this man. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to share that, because, <laughs> seriously, the people that live in my building, they crack me up, like, <laughs> I have my own little, um, um, soap opera going on in this building, you know, who needs TV, right? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go, I just wanted to share that with you, because I thought it was funny. <laughs> Some people, you know, they never learn. Oh, I just want to show you real quick. Um, let's see. See all the snow we have? Isn't that pretty? You know, I like it when um, the snow... Let's see if I can get over here. Yeah. I like it... Let me see if I can get over here. Okay. See that big pile of snow right there? Yeah, that's from two different storms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not going to show anymore because it's the parking lot and I don't want to um, show any like license plates or anything like that. So, Alright, well, I'm going to go. Have a good one, guys. Bye.